I don't know what this is a sign of, but we'll get clashing about it. Walmart is looking to grow in China after getting a hard time from major American cities like New York and Washington, D.C. Uh, Gretchen Hamill says, well, that's a big I told you so. You get rough with a big U.S. jobs provider. They look elsewhere to find the jobs. Stuart Acuff, a big uh, union uh, official, says so she's too crazy for words. <laughs> no, he didn't say that at all. But, uh, Gretchen, you think that this Walmart move is at the expense of American uh, jobs? Because Walmart has even said, we're still inclined to hire as many American workers, so it's not either or. You say it is. Well, you have to look. They're being met with tough regulations and demands from cities like New York City and Chicago, and even here in Washington, D.C. But Walmart employs 1.4 million Americans and is paying wages of $13, but are often met with very harsh criticism when they're paying more than the average private in the U.S. Marine Corps makes. Um, you know, uh... I'm sure you agree with all of those points, Stuart, so I'll allow you to elaborate. But I, I, the one thing that does occur to me, though, is that we, uh, whether you agree with what cities have been doing or not, and they've had a run around back and forth with, with Washington, D.C., ultimately with the mayor there relenting and, and allowing um, this uh, super wage, minimum wage thing to die, uh, that would have all but forced Walmart out of uh, the district. But, but it, it has been made tough for the big box stores, particularly the Walmarts, to expand, hasn't it? Well, it has made it tough for Walmart to expand, and that's fine with us. We don't want them undercutting good union grocery stores like they have been doing in, in place after place, destroying small businesses like they have been doing in place after place. Well, they've created a they've lot of jobs, expanding. too, though, right? They, well, and they're not going to give up any of those jobs. Gretchen said that people make thirteen twenty-five an hour. Well, the, the minimum wage that we tried to pass in Washington, D.C. was just twelve seventy five an hour. And Walmart squealed like st uh, stuck pigs about twelve seventy five an hour. Well, so I don't think they're looking the to pay people thirteen twenty five. They, they don't. That was what they well, pay the government on average, tells everybody what business. they should pay, Gretchen. Gretchen, the government pay, tells everybody to what they should pay. But they continue to tell them to rise and rise and rise that minimum wage. Well, 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 it's not like we have a minimum just, wage. Guys, I will give each a chance. But Gretchen, one of the things that was it, Walmart's argument was it was inconsistent. City to city, each one had demands. E e exactly. Each, and, and that was one of the things that they, they, they were against. Do you think that Walmart, though, could have opened up a bit more? And this move to China is, in fact, a way of exacting concessions from cities that it might be looking to expand to. I think it's one thing that we often forget that you know 90% of the U.S. 90% of consumers live outside the United States. So when businesses are met with tough regulations and tough governments to deal with here, whether it be city, local, or even federal government, they are going to find ways to move outside the U.S. They are going to go to those 90% of those consumers and they are going to go make money elsewhere. So you know, and who loses out? It's us Americans who lose out because while he was talking about protecting oh, big union government, big Gretchen, union that's grocery. That's that's like, He's not talking about the free like market the, principles that would allow us to drive down the prices and for us to make our dollars go farther. Stuart, do we gain Gretchen, anything as just consumers? But Stuart, 90, wait, do we wait, get wait, anything, wait, any savings? Uh, consumers, if, are they robbed of savings and cheap and inexpensive drugs and consumer products if this, if this trend continues? You no, know, there are plenty of other, there are plenty of other providers of those things and one of them is, is a union uh, operation called Costco who does a great job providing uh so if walmart uh, were unionized if walmart were unionized and, you wouldn't have a problem and decent wages uh, it, uh if walmart yes if walmart okay. had a collective bargaining so, agreement so with their people but let me let me just let me Real answer quick. one thing in, in the search of the truth when gretchen says 90 percent of other people in the country is she talking about western europe is she talking about scandinavia brazil south africa korea where you have emerging and large labor movements and con and, and with that in the case of brazil south africa and korea you also have growing and and booming economies and that's what we need in this country. We need better and wages. Unions would so provide that. Have unions would get us booming Absolutely. again. Absolutely. All right, that's counterintuitive. Absolutely. Uh, well, if unions provided a booming economy, then I think the, I think Detroit would be the new New York City. I think Detroit would be still in any, good Gretchen, standing and any, not going bankrupt. Any, any I think your, your claim that lost, is false. That lost us, Gretchen. Any enterprise that lost a third of its income and a third of its consumers 
would have the same problems Detroit had. Well, but why did it lose that? Bottom why? line is, because it is the mess of this trend is in. Oh, guys, I want to get you back to discuss this in more detail. You're both very good at expounding on your response.